Phoning it in, bud. How are you? We're great, man. It's been, it has to be tough on you. A lot of rain this week, a lot of subpar golf. You must have been kind of slugging through a long week of golf, huh? I guess, man. Who even wants to play golf? That's my question. I, uh, I actually missed my cousin's circumcision for this. I was in the city doing a shell game with a couple of buddies, and uh, I got a twit that said, um, A, we're on Beth Plage Black at the seventh hole. I thought it was a porn, so I drove out here, and uh, apparently there's a lot of golf going on. But not much sex. Yeah, not a, well, there's a little bit. I caught a BJ in a sand trap. <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't recommend that. But he, Glover won, uh, but the news is that he's not black. That was the surprising news. I was like, Glover, not black, that's a bigger story. No relation to Danny out there. No relation to Danny or mm -hmm. Leroy Glover, actually, who retired today after 13 seasons in the NFL. Nice. Now, not to bring up a touchy subject for you, but you mentioned that BJ in the sand trap. Any sign of crabs? Um, not here. Uh, Phil Mickelson lost. Uh, he came in second. Um, I don't know if he has crabs or not. Uh, his wife has cancer, though, and we wish her well. Much more serious disease. Nice. Uh, any? Uh, did you get? A, did you get to meet any of your favorite players out there? Anybody you were looking forward to meeting? No, I saw uh, John Sally with a couple of white chicks. Uh, so that was pretty cool, and I got one of their autographs. <laughs> so the girls he hangs out with can actually write their own names now. Uh, yeah, it wasn't in cursive. <laughs> You're and what's, horrible. It's not. Yeah, he's first time covering golf. I take it. Yeah, definitely my first time covering golf, and hopefully my last. There's a lot of cars here driving back on the course, too, which is really dangerous at this, uh, at this hour. They're actually about to film a uh, Subaru commercial out here, uh, which actually might be more exciting than this year's U.S. Open. Would you take $4 million to be on To Catch a Predator? Um, I, would take it, uh, I would take about $700 back because Chris Hansen was on my podcast, and he tried to run up a bunch of hotel bills with spa stuff, extra spa treatments and stuff like that. So... Chris Hansen tried to fuck me on about $730, you know, getting rose petals and shit. Motherfucker, well, I shouldn't have called you names, but I wouldn't do that to you. And I would appreciate that, you know, you shouldn't have tried to do that to, to us because we're trying to be, you know, some patty co. Oh, Welcome, yeah. you know, um, I didn't know. Oh, you knew. Uh, I did and I didn't. You knew there was a snake in the mail, did you? Accusations. Anyway, we got the human embodiment. Here, I'm going to make a sound, and you tell me if it reminds you of you going to the post office, okay? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it seems familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's my slippers? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Huh? I'm going to remind so, you of waiting in line at the post office, Bubby. So, um, Theo Vaughn. Oh, you little spiked skunk. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Oh, hey, bro. Hey, bro, don't call me that. You want to bring a swordfish to a gunfight, you little piss guppy? <laughs> huh? Don't say that. Piss guppy. I'm a piss guppy. You sent me those dirty dishes and you sent the snake, Bubba. First of all, I don't know where, where the fuck you live in Nashville. Number two, it's like, why would I, if I was going to, were they poisonous, the snakes? The snake was a rat snake, Bub. Right, Bub. And they, I can they kill you, Bub? Huh? Can they kill you, Bub? They can't kill me. <laughs> why? Huh? You can you only send one. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. If you want to kill me, Papa, <laughs> you need to send mas. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, so I would have sent maybe <clears throat> 10 of them, right? And they're more poisonous than the whatever the gutter one. Was that the rat one? What's the gutter one? Whatever, the rat snake. What did I could send them? It was a rat snake. Rat snake. It I would have. box of. It was a dishes that, that was sent. You know this. It was dishes that was sent. It was little uh, <laughs> Chinese little cups or something yeah. like, kind of shaped like this and had those spoons that also has a, you know the spoon y'all have that has a bowl on the end? It's kind of fucking cheating, honestly, but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what do you mean? Just the really deep ones? Yeah, it's like, dude, just. Oh, you mean for the soup? <laughs> yeah, for yeah, whatever. They're, yeah, they're soup fucking spoons, bro. Bro. It's not a bowl. Whatever you want to do. <laughs> whatever you want to do. With them, all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. These, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, a spoon. <laughs> it's a spoon. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, dude. These fucking little pinoy ladles. You know. What I'm <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, dude. Uh -huh. The things you scoop up all your bullshit. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's a box of little Asian dishes. They're all wrapped in newspaper. Uh huh. So I open it up. There's no return address. It's from Los Angeles, but there's. It says on the sticker thing, but there's no. Um, return address so i'm like oh i wonder who sent this 
literally, I go do some other stuff in my house. I come back over there three minutes later, and there's a snake right outside of it that's moving around in my home. Wow. Where I live, Bubby. <laughs> wow. Wasn't that funny? I thought, who do I know that's Chinese or semi-Chinese? Yeah, but I'm not Chinese, though. S semi? A semi-Chinese. I am semi-Chinese. Semi <laughs> but if you played your cards right, you could have been. <laughs> All right. Full. You mean before I even came to Earth? I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> if you do your BTS fucking work, you fucking show up like you want. Right. Okay. I fucked it up up there, huh, before I came to I'm not Earth. saying that, but right. it's been said. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I'm All just right. saying. So Don't I, send me snake, bro. All right, bro. My bad, dude. Good. Okay. Thank I thought you. I was going to get a chuckle, but my bad, dude. Very scary. Yeah. Okay. You know how hard it was to get man. that snake? Huh? I had to go all the way to Monterey Park to get that thing. Okay. Well, <laughs> a, there was a restaurant over there. There are Mexican people dressed up like Asian people selling the snakes. <laughs> <there. laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Half yeah. that park is a bunch of Asian. And finding your address was tough, bro. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's public knowledge. Okay. <laughs> all right. But you know what? I thought it was going to be funny, but I apologize, man, if it scared you a little bit. Theo, you have any issues with lesbian, or are they all good with you because you look like them? <laughs> First of all, Brendan, uh, you look like a f fucking... Get it out, buddy. I don't have it. That's the problem. I've used it all <laughs> on so many episodes of this show. But I do want to say yes. I, I, I feel like I'm okay with lesbians, man, but I've never... Look, I'll be honest. My first interaction with lesbians, we had a couple of lesbians live across the street from us. And they used to try to sync their lights up with the uh, with the radio station, and they couldn't make it happen. And it was crunch time. It was Christmas Eve, and they ended up fist fighting in the yard. And one of them worked at the library. And uh, and ever since then, and I did donuts in their fucking yard a couple of days later. And ever since then, we've been on the rocks. But you were in Asia, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's not Asia. It's Vietnam. Vietnam. Do you go to brothels ever? No, you've never been to a brothel. Here's what happened. <laughs> 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 Here's what happened. So I got to Vietnam, right? Right. And we get to Vietnam, and um, and the taxi driver, we just wanted to go see anything, right? And we get in, and the first thing they do is take you to a place where you can buy sex if you want it, if you want mm. sex, you know? And I was 22 years old, I think, when this happened. So <clears throat> who knows if I wanted it or, or not. So anyway, this guy takes us. We don't know that, though. We think he's just, you know, we told him, like, oh, take us to a supermarket, take us to a star hotel, take us to some, you know, um, the uh, American War. That's what they called it there, right? So so this guy's driving us. He drops us off. It's a pet shop. So we go in, and they got fucking pets. You know what I'm saying? And, I'm, you know, I grew up around pets, and, you know, I know about some pets. And I'm like, oh, this would be great, you know, see what pets they have over here. And so they have um, large parrots parakeets and parrotlets which are small parrots <laughs> and so we're fucking looking at all these parrots and shit next you know what my buddy kind of moves into the back of the there's like a curtain and he moves back behind there and next thing I know my other buddy and this other this lady comes out and gets me and him next thing you know we're all back there and it's a uh, prostitution and they doing prostitution oh. and so they got the birds up front and it's just a it's a decoy Mm. Uh, you know the birds are just up there faking it none of them even want to go home to new people's homes <laughs> and in the back they're trying to suck you out what do you mean yeah trying to suck S you out of your dick suck you out man. Like, suck, <laughs> literally, oh literally yeah suck you out suck the essence out of you yeah mm. through your dick hole yeah yep. yeah, yeah they're trying yeah. to suck you out of your dick just like normal like they do in america but they're trying to do it there yeah and they're hiding behind pets doing it yeah and that that honestly broke my heart <laughs> It did, yeah. Because these animals don't know that. <laughs> they, yeah, they don't. They don't. Yeah, it's animals. They wake up away. every day thinking they got a chance to find a new home. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Little do they realize. Yeah. Sucking back. <laughs> that the yeah that just. 20, 30 feet away in a little bit of drywall. Yeah. You know, and a cash register that people are sucking people out of each other. Which fictional character would you love to be? <laughs> beat the shit out of, dude. I don't know if I can beat a lot of people. I think I could beat that dude from The Mask. You ever seen that movie Mask with Rocky Dennis? I could fight that dude, I bet. Who else? Probably Rosie O'Donnell. That's not a fictional character. That's a real person. Depends on who you ask, bro. <laughs> if like people in the, this country had a disease, right? Mm -hmm. And they're all going to die. What's my favorite disease? No, the only, <laughs> and the only way to cure it is if you suck my dick. Mm -hmm. Would you suck my dick? I'm talking about billions of people, bro. Well, billions of people what? What do you mean? What? Well, you said like <laughs> basically you said would you suck my, my dick? dick? <laughs> Billions of people. 
I was like, yeah, what does he mean? Watch no, it? I'm just what? saying, though, there was some sort of dis- you know, some disease in the country, right? Do you really have a dick? I bet you have like a kazoo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Makes no you would, you, would you suck it, though, to save <laughs> millions of people's lives or what? I mean, I, here's what I would do. I wouldn't suck it. Yeah. But if uh, someone else sucked it, you know, and it was late, late at night, I might smell their breath really fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you would do that? Yeah. Oh, but and that, hope that but I, I wouldn't cure the disease. That would cure probably 100 people, maybe. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. as long as I'm one of those 100, then that's fine with me, dude. Well, ask, you, ask the reverse. Would I suck your dick for a fucking... For billions? <laughs> yeah. Would, do you think... Ask me. Would you suck my dick for a little... For, for 70, 80 bucks? What? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? That's it? Yeah. 70, 80 bucks? Not save the Dude. world? Well, you're Never not going to just give me 80. Can you just give me 80? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Wow, dude. Yeah, for, get, round it out to 100. What about for a cheat code on uh on that Bejeweled game you play or whatever? <laughs> Ooh. 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 That's time. What about tempting. for mystery levels? Would you suck dick for mystery levels? <laughs> Theo Shaw, Brennan Vaughn, what up? This is Tyler from Virginia Beach, big fan. Yeah. I got a king it or sing it, or maybe even a rip my drip for you. You decide. The 80s are coming back. That's why everyone's rocking these ridiculous ass sunglasses, right? So I got one for you. Brandon, you're all about that high fashion. That's why you stay rocking that romper, right? So how you feel about dudes bringing it back? Bringing back that men's crop top. That half t-shirt hitter. Hitter, baby. Gang, gang. gang. Buzz, buzz. Ooh, crop tops tough. What do you to think on this man? When well, you see this man, Tim, what do you think of this man? He sucked dick for Coke. Uh, <laughs> now, that's not a gay man, but he has sucked dick <laughs> for a gram of cocaine. So that is the perfect outfit. On the segue, he says, hey, I'm not gay, but I will suck dick for Coke <laughs> in Virginia Beach. So if you're a businessman and you're at a convention somewhere in Virginia and you're staying at a hotel and you find yourself on a certain website at a certain hour of night, uh, that guy's showing up to your hotel room and uh, you're going to get to suck this guy off <laughs> and you're going to give him $200 and he's going to leave and he's going to go to fucking uh, Waffle House and just fucking live <laughs> that's exactly what that guy's life is and by the way if it isn't it should be and it's tragic it's oh, sad or if he's not doing that this guy will give you a blow job with his butthole I know that uh, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you speaking of Wolf House I took my sister who hadn't seen in a year and a half we met up at Wolf House over the holidays <laughs> and we sit in there we have some coffee we finally order a woman comes over a young woman of uh different dialect maybe and she's like uh we're like ordered she's like can't you fucking see the chef quit a half hour ago we're like uh fuck uh no we can't we didn't notice that it's christmas eve we're sitting in here and we're like well do you know when she's gonna be back she'll be like well tiffany's outside of smoking and she ain't fucking happy right now <laughs> <laughs> well we'll wait we'll wait so we waited bro but um, anyway, yeah, this guy uh, definitely looks like um, Postmates for his own. He looks like Postmates for his own semen. That's what he looks like. Yeah. I mean, this is the definition of if that was your son. Oh, dude. If that was your son. <laughs> dude. Let me tell you right now. Dude. If that was your son and you had to look at that guy. I'd rather him storm the castle. I mean, the level of drunk you would have to be. I mean, just Down syndrome drunk. Like, can't even oh, yeah. feel your spine drunk every time you see that man, that guy at Thanksgiving. L5S what? I don't know, dude. Yeah, I agree <laughs> with you, man. That guy, look, first of all, I think the guy's a beautiful, seemed like a nice guy. Um, beautiful young guy, you know, obviously. Pr- pr- trying to get through college, trying to make it after college. Maybe. And, yeah, uh, there's no way. He's, I don't think so, Bubba. He's never gone anywhere near a college. He uh, just counted down the days to yeah. spring break. Yeah, uh, maybe, <laughs> best case, he's in a technical school by the side of a highway. Best case, he's learning to be an air conditioning repairman at a technical oh. school, which he hasn't showed up to in two weeks. <laughs> and his mother has left cell phone messages saying, we're fucking paying for this. We're paying okay? for ITT tech. Yeah, Brett, <laughs> we're paying for this. Are you doing okay? <laughs> this is the type of guy that disappears for a year. You, he, he uploads song lyrics at 1 a.m. on Facebook. <laughs> yeah. Then everyone's like, oh, he's in trouble. The comments on the page are like, where are you? He disappears for a year, and then he reemerges with a blurry photo of himself standing on a hill and a Bible quote. <laughs> That's who this guy is. That's his future. <laughs>
Holy shit, dude. Yeah, 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 definitely, man. Oh, man. Bro, this guy seems... He seems like he could get a job as a crystal ball at Richard Simmons' birthday party. (laughs) (laughs) That guy is not really doing too well. But he seems like a nice guy, man. And look, man, we're happy he's in a video, bud. (laughs) I used to have this one line. In hindsight, this shit is horrible. I was like, uh, let's play Hiroshima. I'll lay on my back and you blow the shit out of me. And I was on stage and then I, I, I was doing a bit and all of a sudden I just shit my pants. Oh, yeah. Have you ever shit your pants on stage? No, I've shit my pants like in a couple of different places, but I've never shit my pants on stage. But you and I, I, had, I stopped the show. Yeah. Oh, I went good night and I went back backstage. And then here's the crazy Ugh. part. No, it was the first show Friday night because yeah. then I took my pants down oh. and there was a load of shit in my pants. Oh. No warning. No, you don't have leaky shit. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, and then what happened was, um, who cares what happened after that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying this is already disgusting, <laughs> and it's already like here's the thing. I guy. know, but can I just guy? Can I just finish my story, guy? Yeah, you can. All right. Um, so I go, I go to the manager. I go the hey, manager like they manage your fucking asshole, dude. No, I go grow get, up. Go, can you go get go to the store and get me a modium AD? What? Right. Because he had a second show. For what? A second show. A modium AD from what? The periodic table? No, a modium. <laughs> no, that's not an element, bro. Yeah, a, it is. No, no. Look at no. A modium AD. A modium hey, AD. Where does honey come from? Huh? Yeah, yeah. Where does honey honey come from trees. Come from yeah. the so, woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, he um, wouldn't do it. Yeah. Oh, give me a modium. Because yeah, he's a fucking adult, dude. No, no. How am I gonna do the second show if I'm if I have diarrhea? I don't care. Wrap your body in something, dude, and get out there, <laughs> shit boy. You know, paddle the fucking riddles, shit boy. He had to get all me right. underwear. He, he had to get me do. all that stuff, man. We bu- oh, oh wow. Yeah, it was a disaster Friday night. Mm. You never shit your pants, man. Let me think about what happened to me one time. Oh, I remember one time I got stuck in a tunnel. My car broke down in a tunnel in uh, Pittsburgh, and I had to defecate extremely and that's French actually for shit yeah yeah and I had to defecate and uh <laughs> so I got in my back seat of my car and the only like I, I didn't have any choice this was like you know it was like something had gotten into my body like a pink eye had gotten into my stomach Whoa. and uh and all the shit in my body was coming out of my body you had pink it was eye like, in your stomach yeah it was like hey we need all the shit out of here I had gingivitis once in my stomach <laughs> did you yeah. really <laughs> yeah in your mouth and I got diarrhea from that too. Yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I got down there. And I had to defecate into a frisbee out of uh, upside down frisbee was all I had. <laughs> really? Be real. Yeah. Yeah. What? And so wow. I'm in this tunnel. There are cars whizzing by. Here's the crazy thing. Yeah. Extremely hard to poop when cars are going by at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, mm. and furious too. Yeah. Furious. Like, and also white people. Like it was Pittsburgh, so it's furious white people driving by. I can. If other people, some certain ethnicities, I can shit easier when they're driving by, honestly. You know, like if a couple of brothers are rolling by blasting some fucking good music, I can fucking blow ass all day into a frisbee, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem. Part of, the, you know, everything is everybody's, you know, everybody seems like it's more laid back. Yeah, yeah. But an angry white dude, you know, rolling by, you know, six, seven, well, eight Well, they would probably call somebody too, huh? Oh, they weren't calling anybody. I mean, the only f- free finger they had, they were waving it out the window at me. So <laughs> yeah. They yeah. weren't using it to dial the phone. So you but shit on a frisbee. I'd have shit on the open, the, now, now the, the you Yeah, know, not the top part, but the bottom part. Wait, a frisbee is basically a cup, did basically the sides. <laughs> oh, yeah. a plate. It's a plate. A plate. Well, a, a, a plate is just a cup. That's wait, way no, 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 no. Let me get this straight. Hang on. Are you a plate still is just a wide, wide, wide cup? <laughs> no, 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 no. Are you pulled over? Oh, pulled I pulled over. Yeah, I pulled over the car. I think honestly, I'd run Why out of gas. Why did you just shit on the ground? Why did you have to like put I was a in plate a tunnel. underneath? Yeah, so it's dark. Shit yeah. on the fucking guy. Go outside. What's... Shit in a tunnel. Why would you have to plate idiot. Your own shit? Okay, <laughs> yeah. you should be familiar with tunnels, dude. Why? Huh? Because of Vietnam. <laughs> Because oh, you're gonna do that shit again right now, man. What because shit, of, bro? Whoa. Why? Why are you? Why are you? Oh, oh dude. no, dude. Whoa, right, you're, you're doing that Nam shit again, huh, bro? What Nam? What? You, you thought that I was digging tunnels in the Ho Chi Minh Trail and trying Whoa. to attack you people? No, I thought you, you meant that Nam, was me? the fruit juice, the pomegranate fruit juice that's always in there. What no, is that no. Stuff? <laughs> palm. Palm. Yeah, no. <laughs> No, dude. No, not palm. No, bro. I don't believe in Vietnam. I don't believe in in it, it a happened. Lot of war. Huh? Oh, you, it, it's I'm conspiracy. not saying it didn't happen, dude. <laughs> Are you those? Uh... They never found the boats, dude. You oh, know? right. It's just like slavery. They never found too. the boats. Yeah. 
What, what do you mean tunnels though, bro? So anyway, I'm in a tunnel. I'm in a tunnel, and there's only two lanes going each way. There's no, there's nowhere to get out in a tunnel, like in a tunnel. Mm. You know, right. cars are whizzing by. Yeah, and yeah. so I had to get in the back seat and defecate into this frisbee. Right, mm. and um, and then wait for the cops to come. Why you call the, the, the cops? Come? Had to call the cops. I, somebody, I well, somebody, not somebody. I had just shit in a frisbee in my car, and I needed help. Yeah, there's a lot of things I didn't learn <laughs> from that story. I'll tell you what I didn't learn. Okay, okay. say something. I didn't learn that um, a fris, a, a cup, a, a cup and a plate are the same fucking thing. They're not the same thing. Depends on who you ask. Depends on who, where you are. How strong the gravity is in an area, how fresh the cup, how recently you made it, how how, how warm is the clay. <laughs> a fucking cup is just, a plate is just a wide, wide cup. The sides can't get along, bro. <laughs> a poem? That's all it is. Yeah. No, man, that's the truth, dude. Wow. Go beat a plate apart with a hammer and then tape it together yeah. and don't do a good job. You so got would, a would a bowl be the same as a, as, a, as, a, as a plate? Go beat a cup apart, I'm sorry, with a hammer. That's yeah. true. You yeah, flatten yeah, yeah. it out, maybe there, there's and a plate. And tape it together. There. Right. What do you have? You have a fucking plate, dude. You got a plate. And you fucking won. How does he do Theo Vaughn, you're, I don't know how you how do it, dude. Do? You're crafty, dude, huh? Chink mate, man. Would you say chink mate? <laughs> no, I didn't say chink. I said check mate. I heard. I heard chink, chink mate. Oh, my bro. <laughs> bro. Don't set me up for bro. racial shit, I'm not, dude. I'm not. <laughs> I freaking... But dude, I, whoa. Well, you're, I would well, never, never say that. Can I just say this, though, dude? Yeah. A couple of things you did already, okay? <laughs> I would never you say that, bro. Put your fucking strictly business glasses on, okay, dude? 